I spend too much time with grown-ups. I do. I'm not a parent, so I spend a lot more time with grown-ups than I do with kids. And sometimes that means you forget things that are important about kids that grown-ups aren't like. I mean, adults, we have all kinds of responsibilities, we have all kinds of obligations, we recognize all kinds of interests, and more importantly, we are sort of fully formed human beings. I mean, when you're sitting across the table from a person, especially a new person that you've just met, you're sort of trying to figure out who this person is and what they're like, but not really what they're going to be like. Whereas when you spend time with kids, one of the things that's always on your mind, or at least always on my mind, is what is this kid going to be like when they turn into an adult? And as an adult, how am I uh, helping to shape them in one way or another into being an okay person? Or not being an okay person? I mean, what am I doing and, and what are the consequences of that? I mean, there's no way to know for sure. In some cases, there are certainly ways to know for sure, but most average everyday stuff, it's sort of, you know, you just sort of imagine. And you imagine these future people and what they're like. And whether they're going to be brave or scared or whether they're going to be kind or mean or whether they're going to like tennis or video games or both. Because some people like both. Spend not as much time as I'd like to, but more time than some with my nieces who are... 10 and 7. You have seen them in some of our old Vita videos, which I will put, I don't know, down below and probably somewhere over here over that Mario painting. But they're lovely and wonderful. And uh, we made a video together. And they are, they're like people. I mean, they're, they are people, but... As they get older, I start to see the future people that they're going to be, and those future people are kind of cool in some ways and maybe need a little help or a little knowledge or a little guidance in other ways. And that's sort of the way kids, it works with kids. With grown-ups, it's totally different. You forget about that part because, I mean, you sort of assume that everybody is the way that they are, and they're not really going to get that different. Eh, maybe that's true. I don't know. But, I mean, at the very least, hopefully we assume that Trying to guide or change a person who isn't interested in it is, at best, paternal and, at worst, annoying. I mean, I think everybody has that that friend who's like, you know, I really know exactly how your life would be better. And sometimes, to be fair, sometimes that friend is right. Sometimes my friends are like, Jim, uh, your life would probably be better if you would wear pants more often and be scared of less stuff. And they were half right. And half right is enough. Half right I will take. But with kids, I mean, they're, they're sort of looking for that all the time. And they, they're learning that stuff all the time because they don't have a choice. Because we are the people who sort of describe reality to them. And we, we being not just the immediate adults in their vicinity, but the adults that raise the kids around them and the kids around them and the media that they consume and all all that stuff man but there's a tendency like i said when you spend most of your time with adults to forget that these kids are future people i mean sometimes that means treating them like adults like the way that they are is the way they're always going to be sometimes that means Always treating them like kids and not letting them sort of expand and grow and learn and, and sort of grow out to fill the space that is going to be the person that they're going to be. And I worry about that sometimes. I worry about that when, I, when I'm with my nieces. We went sledding and one of my nieces wanted to kick over a snow fort that, that uh, somebody had built during the day. And I'm like, I don't... If I let you do that... Not only would you have done that, and it would be mean, but I would be the adult who let you do that. I would teach you something about grown-ups, that we think it is okay to kick over things that other people find fun. Which I would hope we don't, because it's mean. But I also think about other kids 
that I know. Friday, I've got a song for an awesome, brave, amazing kid who is undergoing surgery. This isn't a fundraiser thing or anything like that. Uh, her parents are amazing and awesome and good friends of mine. Andrew will be on the podcast next week. And he has a great time. And they're going through a lot. And they're actually writing about it and sharing that. And you can find the link down below. And it is really, really powerful and really moving stuff. And she is a freaking champ. And way back he said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if, if there were like a song? I'm like, yeah, it would be cool. And then he nudged me and he was like, wouldn't it be cool if there were a song? And I said, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that would be cool. I didn't, I sort of worked on it for a while, but I didn't really understand it until she was actually undergoing surgery. And I feel a little okay talking about it because they are talking about it. But, I mean, the story and the details belong to them. All I can say is that if Pants, as a future person, turns out half as brave as she is now, she's still going to be pretty rad. So yeah, look for that on Friday, and I will see you guys on Thursday with more video games. And, I don't know, leave me a story about your future people. Because I want to kind of meet them. Bye. Okay, well, I don't hate snowballs, and I don't hate snowmen, and I don't hate tobogganing. What I hate is that moment when you step onto your driveway, and you get halfway down, and then you slip. You break your ass, and you slide down to the sidewalk like some kind of human luge.